up another tier one games production. You said we were starting. <laughs> it didn't click. Now we're just going. All right. Welcome back to another tier one games productions. It's been a minute. Sorry, we haven't put anything out. Still getting stuff organized. Things are still a mess. But I'm I actually have something for us today. I'm a little tired. I know. We have a double feature of sorts. We're going to be opening two card products today. We have Kamigawa stuff. Uh oh. There we go. What? I'm going to blame the plastic wrap. No, the plastic wrap. It's fading in and out with the neonness. Yeah, we have Kamigawa product and we have Weishwartz product to open. Yay! I probably got to remove the background blur. I think that's causing problems. Yeah, I oh, well, told I you tried. That the thing is just weird. Yeah, weird as it is, I tried. Uh, also, we got a few extra things that came in too. Uh oh. Ooh, secret layer stuff. Secret layer. Okay. Yeah, I... stuff from way back in last year. It seems I can't minimize Discord because it'll freeze your camera. Okay. Oh well. So let's start with the secret layer. Yes. Uh, I didn't get too many of the ones that came out during the end of last year. Mm -hmm. I basically just ended up going for the ones that I really wanted, the ones that were okay. No, I didn't get the Commander deck one. I kind of wasn't interested in it. I already got done playing with my own like Sakashima Quark Is It Storm thing, and it was fun and also obnoxious, and it felt like a giant extended game of Solitaire, and no one wants to play against a deck that's going to play a game of Solitaire for 30 minutes. That's just not fun. Yeah. So yeah, some of the first ones I got was... The foil etch version of Read the Fine Print. Mm. Very nice. Yes, it actually looks super pretty. Let's see what my <coughs> secret card on the back is. That's upside down. That is a stained glass Liliana. I was going to say, that looks like Liliana. And that is gorgeous. Bitch. Yeah. Uh, Read the Fine Print was a secret layer that featured the four demons that uh, Liliana's contract was originally made with to give her her planeswalker powers and abilities, her ability to raise the dead and all that, and after she beat, killed, and forced the other four demons to submit in one fashion or another, her contract defaulted to Nico Bolas because of course it did, so then she became his puppet for about five minutes. All according to plan. Thank you for Yes. And thankfully it is, these are foil etched, so they're not going to Pringle on me. Pringles. I do like the style of these. Demon Lord Bells and Lock. We have Gristle Brand. This is actually really cool. Pringles. We have the main card itself, Liliana's Contract. Which I actually really like. I was kind of thinking we'd get Nico Bolas as the secret card in this one. No. No, Nico Bolas. Katofed, the Soul Hoarder. Good lord, some of these boys are angry looking. And hey, look, it's Razaketh, and this is actually, I think this is my favorite version of Razaketh, too. That is actually really, really pretty. Pretty. Yeah, the foil etches definitely come out a lot darker than they would compared to other cards, and I understand why people don't like the foil etching. But I prefer it because it's a foil that won't Pringle. <laughs> oh, the Pringles. So my tastes in... Uh, Certain products is rather shallow, and I'm not ashamed of it. That. Shameless. Uh, hey, well, hey, look, I'm. Uh, well, look, I also got Showcase Midnight Hunt because I'm a terrible person, mm. and of course I'll buy a lot of products that are just Innistrad related. Oh, that's cute. My box had a secret message. Did it say Awu in it? <laughs> Aww. Thank you for being a part of Secret Layer. I'm like, oh, that's that's cute. I guess some of those boxes are gonna have that message on them. That's. Th thank you for giving us your money, is what it's basically saying. Ooh, this one actually didn't have the label on it. Oh, they only put the label Interesting. Mm. And I have a DCI Swamp is the special on this one. Swamp. Yep. <sighs> the Showcase Midnight Hunt one contains the... Midnight Hunt uh, 
it contains the new Innistrad black and white horror style treatment for the original two color special lands from the original Innistrad block. Mm-hmm. So Moreland Hunt, okay. Vault of the Angels, you know, stuff like that. So they're not going to be great lands, but they're going to look pretty and very neat in the whole black and white horror movie style, which, hey, uh, those are definitely a better deal than double feature because that is definitely a set that bombed. Yeah. Well, I got another message. I mean, so did Crimson Vow. That one made me mad. I was looking forward to that one. It's from Ooh. Wizard. They, they're telling you to stop bashing their product. Ooh. Stranger Things one is in red. Ooh. Uh, this is the one I was most looking forward to because I'm a terrible person and I... I bought it because I saw the Demogorgon was one of the cards, and I'm like, yes, please, yes. That, that'll that be my first mono black commander. Is it way too expensive to cast? You bet it is. Is there a lot of things in black that I could use to get value anyway? Yes, there is. That doesn't matter. It's actually a pretty box. This is actually a really pretty box. This is actually cool. This is one of the few crossover things I actually really, really like. Uh, even though they won't, even though they won't specifically say it's the Demogorgon, it, it's Mind Flare, it's the Shadow. Look at this boy! Ooga booga. Look at this creepy dude. Mm, he's creepy. He is also expensive to cast. No, it's a nine. Card of it. It's a nine nine for seven. Yeah. Ew. Gonna immediately destroy that. Oh hello. Yeah, this uh, this is the card I was very uh, excited about because uh, this was the teased extra card. I'm like, oh, that's really neat. It's a flip Can land. You the side, please. I will. Ooh. Yeah, you actually get the upside down, and it's printed upside down on the reverse side. Mm. It's actually really neat. <laughs> Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, technically, uh, as a fun little Easter egg, all of these cards are technically printed upside down on their respective sides. So the magic logo is upside down on all these, which is neat. But yeah, I yes. will be unpacking that one later and putting that away in its own binder. Yes. Because it deserves a special little place, because it is nice and neat. Uh, now onto the actual meat and potatoes. Meats and tatoes. Yeah, so let's take a brief break from magic to open some Y Schwartz. Oh dear. Huh? I managed to find a few boxes of data bullet, so we're going to open two of them today. We are not exclusively magic and Pokemon. We do other things too. Yeah, so long as they catch our interest, and this one has had my interest for quite some time. Uh, I didn't expect to see any boxes in Vegas, by the way. That's the part that gets me. Just just a bit ear that you're a sip for Kurumi. You don't have to tell everyone, yes. but yes. There you go. E- each of these boxes has six packs. I have four boxes, 24 packs. We're just going to open half of them today. Let's see what we get. Packs. I do I do like the way that they seal these up, though. It's Unfortunately, the pull tabs but... on the side. It's a little easy. For me, it's I'm not going to be getting any more Pokemon for a while due to some. Um, it's just gonna hold off for a bit uh, because of uh, packing and stuff. As there is a move in progress, so I'm not gonna be getting any more Pokemon for a while. Just for a little bit. I don't want to have to pack any more stuff away. So, I mean, if I do get anything, I'm not going to open it and I'm just going to pack it away in my backing boxes. Go say, I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, honestly, we, I mean, we did our 25 year mark. We're probably going to return back to Pokemon at, at the 30 year mark for the anniversary stuff. Because doing the anniversary stuff is actually kind of fun. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, though, some, there might be some decent, like, you know, I mean, nothing else has really caught my eye. Freaking Fusion Strike was a big fat flop. 
Oh, yes. Yes, it was. It be sad. Hi, Queen. Freaking way, Queen. There are two special foils that could come out of the set. One for Queen, one for Kurumi. The special ones I'm talking about are the signed ones. You will definitely know when you see them, they're going to stand out. You can also get them without the signature, too. At least from what I understand, and I can't remember if that's actually an error or if it's actually done that way on purpose. But we'll see. I know absolutely nothing about this anime, so don't expect me to know what the card is. Also, I don't even know how to play white shorts. I still know. I could try getting back into it at some point. God, I will say, I, I, I do like the foiling. I want you to pull a signed card. Damn it. <laughs> I would like to as well, yes. Pulling a signed card would be neat. But I'm also just... I'm I'm not expecting it. If I if I don't expect it, then the you know I'm gonna treat it like Monster Hunter's Desire Sensor, and hope that that works. I hate Monster Hunter's Desire Sensor. Oh, it's so bad. It this is. is so sad. Makes me so mad. Like no, bad. for for me, my item I can never get was Stygian Zenogre, uh Sky Marolds. Those. Rolls. Th those eluded me. Those were required several dozen hunts before I could even get one. And I'm just like, I I hate life right now. Can't be any worse than a full guy on the yellow dragon blood. I don't know. After having fought Behemoth for the first time, it's just like... That fight <sighs> is unnecessarily fair. I warned you. You, you mean unfair. It's just... Ridiculous! I warned you. Doing the normal behemoth fight was gonna get us killed. You need no. You were you need no. You you were you you were you were right. It, you were right. It got us killed. It definitely got us killed. I he casted that wind spell and it had me trapped in a corner. And then proceeded, yeah, no, I I I to butt rock me. Yeah, no, I locked myself in a corner too. Ooh, it's like the wind chases you, and it's like. I think you're absolutely right. I'm pretty sure the wind does chase, which is so really, of... really unfortunate. I was getting so, so sick of that. Well, I actually pulled a queen, which is nice. Not signed, but I'll definitely take one of them. Now let's hit the other one. Signed or not, I'd still like to see it. I don't ex I don't expect to see it within this box, but I would like I would expect to see it within opening the four boxes I have. Yikes! I would like to see my Umbreon card that I'm never gonna get. Might as well just order it off a of TCG player when the price drops, if and when it drops. It still looks yeah. A lot of the prices actually a lot of the prices actually drop dropped in uh November. That was actually rather interesting to watch. I haven't looked. Now I have a curious question about why some of the uh, the color, why there's a deep color saturation on some of these, but I imagine that actually has a lot more to do with what happens in the series itself. So, behold, it's one of those things that I actually need to go through. And oh look, that's the first box already done. We have one more, and then we go into the other meat and potatoes. Something that drops in, well, it technically drops in one day now because we're about to go over into the seventeenth. Which is coming out on Neon Dynasty, and I'm pretty excited for a few of the cards in the set. Not just because I want a copy of my own Jenga Taxis. That's that's a big reason. I won't lie. Mm -hmm. But uh, but also out of the set boosters, I would like to see Yoshimaru the Ever Faithful because who doesn't want a good boy? Who doesn't want a good doggo? No one doesn't want a Hachigo. Exactly. He's a good boy. And I definitely want the legendary creature shrine that comes out of that. Yes, it's another Wubur commander. Yes, I understand the complaints that we don't need to see another one, but I like it. You're not giving it to Kenrith. I am so giving it to Kenny. Kenny's shrine garden needs to be perfect and immaculate and have all the shrines. He does not need any more shrines. Box number two, good luck. Does that need sure he any does. more shrines? 
Oh, he absolutely does. Why, so you can be a pillow forting shit weasel? Mm, yes, I do plan to pillow fort him out a little bit, but I'm, I'm already changing on a, a redone deck list for him. So I don't know if it's going to be as pillow forty as before. It's still going to do some stuff, though. I promise. So it'd be more annoying. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I haven't tested it, and I haven't finished, uh... I haven't finished deciding what's going to go in it. I'm still hoping it's good, though. But another bit of Kamigawa news. I also saw... <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a terrible person. I watch game nights. Yes, I saw the recent one that came out with Post Malone in it for Kamigawa. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the Azorius vehicles, Commander. I know a lot of people are really angry about that, and a lot of people are also angry that we have another Artifacts Matters deck in the Gruel deck. They're right; they should be mad at that one. But I do like the Azorius deck more. The blue white one is actually the the more fun one of the two to play. Ooh. Yeah, so I said, ooh. That's actually really pretty. I wish I got that as foil. That would have been gorgeous. Rainbow foil. And another foil. Your itches. Ah. You okay? No, just my ear itch. I just realized I got a foil of the card I got at the beginning of the pack. <laughs> well, this is a very small set, very limited set, so they didn't do anything extra or special for it. There's no trial decks. There's just these boxes. Is that correct, Chrono? Yep, because it's an extra booster set. But it is. Uh, these cards are legal to play with the other with the data life set, though. Got a foil of that one. And I did get a foil of this one. That actually makes me happy. Yes. Okay, that's actually nice. Only three more packs to go in this box. So who do we think my special 2021 pre-release kit stamped card is? Do we, do we think I got something jank in it or... Do we think it's going to be one of the the legendary lands that came out of Kamigawa? What what are we what are we thinking? Mm, I don't know anything about Kamigawa. I thought the set is actually it just got a lot of praise. A lot of people seem to like it overall, which is good. It's nice to return to a place and for it to actually get critical acclaim instead of it being like Innistrad and people were angry. Now, if we could go back to Lorwyn, like some of the other people are asking, and make that all nice and happy, then let's go ahead and do that. I would actually like to go to Lorwyn, since I didn't get to go the first time, even though the Great Aurora apparently turned Lorwyn into Shadowmoor, and everything is basically a terrible hellscape now. Gotta love when crazy magic goes out of control and does some wackiness. Crazy magic. Mm -hmm. I have to keep moving or I'm gonna fall asleep. Then okay. dance in your chair. I know that's a terrible suggestion. Don't do that. Oh, okay. Okay, dance in your chair if you want to. Good. I yeah, do a pre-birthday nice dance in my chair. Oh, that's right. Your birthday is in less than a week. Next Wednesday. Ooh. Oh, on a Ooh. Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know why it's in the middle of the week. It's bullshit. Ouch. That's unfortunate. Why can't my birthday be on a weekend where I can party hardy? Eh, because you have to wait like five years for that. Every five years for that to start up. I want to party hardy like it's 1969. Well, that, that is a pretty foil. 
Yes. I will happily take a foil of the box art. <laughs> yes. That 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 is a great way to close out a pack. Yes. That is a beautiful way to close out that pack. Yes, I got two more boxes of that. We'll be doing that in a different video. Uh, I want to make this its own sort of double feature where on two separate videos, we're going to open two boxes of Data Bullet and one box of Kamigawa pre-release. So now that we got the white shorts out of the way, let's move on to this. I also wonder what kind of what color dye I got. How pretty it's going to look. I predict a blue dye. I would like it to be blue. Also, these come with arena codes and stuff now, I believe. So that's great. I can redeem it for the six packs. Woo! This whole compact design thing is actually really neat. <laughs> you My just got happy. Look at hell, my ear itches. It's a white dye with... That Mount Fuji the Kamigawa's version of it, but yeah, that that's the symbol for the set. That's actually pretty in black and white. <laughs> I think I like that more than when I would have gotten it in uh, blue and white instead. Although if I could get... Uh, I don't know if they still make them uh, silver and white dice. If I could get that, that would have been pretty. Yes. And let's see the stuff I got. Uh, they give you a little divider, a little... How to, how to build a deck from a pre-release kit insert because people don't know how to play children's card games. On motorcycles? Yeah, there we go. Card games on motorcycles. Card games on motorbikes. There we go. Uh, a few blank tokens because there are some modal cards that have a front and a back side to them. Because you actually have to use these in tournament play if you go with people go against people that don't have sleeves and stuff. And my special card for this one is Weaver of Harmony, and this is probably going into Kenny. Ooh, hello. Shall I pull up TCG Player for that? Uh, you can if you want. I don't know if it'll show the pre-release stamp uh, price. Mm -mm. Yes. Weaver of Harmony, enchantment creature, snake druid, 2-2. Two, two. Other enchantment creatures you control get plus one, plus one. It's Copy target Weaver activated or triggered ability. Harmony Showcase? Hmm, that might be it. If it shows the little 2022 in the corner, then yes. I forgot what year it is. Corner. Yeah, does it show it in like the corner of the picture? It's like a little gold stamp. Oh, I just, yeah, I see the stamp. Okay, not that one. That's a different one. Yeah. Yeah, if there's a showcase version of Weaver of Harmony, that's actually kind of cool, though. There is, but it's, um... Like a dollar. I mean, I don't care. But hey, you know what Weaver of Harmony is perfect for? Oh, okay, that Weaver of Harmony with a 2020 stamp in the... 2022 stamp 2020. <sighs> Going backwards in time. Um, with a little stamp, that's $3.60. Nice. These are the packs. They only have one picture. It's sad. They're not making them neat like they used to. But hey... At least in pre-release kits, it's draft boosters and not set boosters. So the next... Gosh, Switch. imagine... Huh. Oh, okay. so the next um, Pokemon set that's coming out is called Brilliant Stars. Uh, yes. All right. Let's start going through this. Let's hope I get something good. Let's see what happens. I got... I got a terrarium. Focus. Oh, it's a little bonsai. Let's see how much my own Fade into cool. antiquity. That's cute. Yes. Oh, look, it's a robot owl. <gasps> I want it. I still want my construct bird for D&D, &D, damn you. Fair. Uh, yes, vehicles are also a thing again. It has to be. Beep beep. Yeah, welcome to the future. You are already dead. Really? 
Yeah, no, I... Th I I love and hate this set even more now. I I'm I'm gonna be honest. Aside from a few cards that I know were already in the set, I didn't actually look at the full preview stuff. That is really pretty. Ooh, sagas are back. Uh, I may have to pay attention to these because attracts the sagas is one of my newest brews. So I need to see if it likes it. Okay, I'm Ooh, looking. a because, samurai. Because I'm a turbo shitter, I had to look at the loading sky sets again. Ooh, I got reflections <laughs> of Kiki Jiki. Hey, the Umbreon card that I want for the VMAX alternate is 224 bucks. Oh, that's a bomb looking token. Look at this angry dude. He angry. A 2 2 with menace. That's actually really good for a token creature. I kind of want and the... I guess it's I guess it's Return of the Taplands. Ooh. Hey, my Embryon V Full Lord is back up to is at 75 or no 81. Aha. That's kind of that's kind of impressive. Still up in there. The Request of V that I used to have is at 78, but I sold that one to Mikey. Whew. I mean, honestly, you st you still got rid of yours at a good time. I didn't get rid of it. I gave it to so I sold it to somebody that wanted it. Right. So I miss it. Yes. Yeah. But... You, you, you see this art of the wanderer right here, holding their blade out, looking all badass and all that wonderfulness. Or weed. Yeah, that's also a play mat, and I need to find it. <laughs> Frankincense. Mm hmm. Artifacts is the name of the game for this set, and I'm happy! For those who don't know about my magic career or what I barely consider one, uh, I started back in Alara. I started when Esper was a wedge, and I love artifacts. Artifacts are my favorite thing. Is this Neon Dynasty or Commander? Oh no, God. this is the Neon... This is Neon Dynasty. Okay. Some of the some uh -huh. of the commander exclusive cards are only going to be in the set boosters, and I do want a set booster box, kind of bad. Oh, what in the Lord of that card is expensive? Ooh, I got a pretty version of one. Uh, so you know what? If you get Hidetsugu, you're keeping it. Oh no, uh, Hidetsugu only shows up in collectors boosters. Yeah, well, if you get one, you find well, it. You're the show, it. No, the, the no, the showcase one. I already know. I already know he's a he's a thing. It's not a showcase. It's just the neon red devouring one. Ooh, I got a ninja. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know how much that freaking card is right now? Katose, the silent spider. Hello. Wait, do you yes, want, I do. Do you want new moros? Tell tell me. Give give me give me big number. $518.56. Yeah, my boy. Tear that market up. Jinka Taxis, the foil etched one that you want, that's 143 He's going to drop. To be fair, these are still just pre-order prices. Yeah, these are pre-sale yeah, prices. Yeah. The, 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 they will drop. These are, these are going to drop hard. The so Wandering I'm, Emperor I'm a... Showcase is 127 right now. There's like three different arts for that one. Yeah. This one looks like an anime girl. Uh, that was done by the uh, one of the Japanese Legend of Zelda artists. Ooh, no wonder it looks from the... Yeah, I'm like, so if the, if that style looks a touch familiar to you, that that's why. A little bit. Tamiya, the completed Sage Phyrexian et Foil Etched is 101 right now. God, these are the, the these stylized cards are so cool. Coming out is actually a really pretty set. There's a lot more sagas in here than I thought there were gonna be. That's actually kind of nice. Ooh. 
That's pretty. Pretty. March of Swirling Mist, one and X. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may exile any number of blue cards from your hand. This spell costs two less for each card exiled this way. Mm. Oh. Up to X target creatures phase out. Rip. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay. I know how to abuse that. I definitely know how to abuse that. That's going to be fun. It's going to be lots of fun. Uh, Hinata uh, Suncrowned will very much like that card in the deck. Any card with X cost is going to be well liked by Hinata. Also, watch the price of Spark Double jump, as well as the usual suspects in Red Clone effects like Splinter Twin and the like. Well, that's pretty. Yes. This card makes me sad. Oh. Because t because Tamio effectively saved the mul uh, saved another part of the multiverse before Jinkataxis took her over and made her part of the Phyrexian completion program. Mm. She entrusted a special artifact to the Wanderer. It's like, yeah, no, you keep it safe, and I'm like, it's a crab. Hey. It's a crab. You can say crab. I have a fox monk. God, I would kind of like to see one of the one of the dragons, but you know that's a that's a bit off too. That is a tall order. Yeah, tall order in six packs at least. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, look, look, I like look, the. Like, I like the yeah, I like the ink painting. Yeah. Oh, I got the. I think I got the special special frame of that too. I. Did you just pull a? Uh, what was that? What's that deer Pokemon? That's their deerling, Sawsbuck. Yeah, she pulled a, <laughs> pull a spring version of Sawsbuck right there. Hell yes! I got one of the one of the <laughs> commanders that came out of this set. First, let's deal with the boy in the room. Ishin, two heavens is one. Ishin. Yeah, this it this guy's great. great. Oh, the, yeah, this boy. -o. But he's not a showcase. He nah, is. No, it's just a normal one. Cheap as hell. I mean, I imagine he is, but I don't care. That's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's a Nagamata. Yeah. I do love the art for the set. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got I got one of the special lands. Special? Ooh. That yeah, I got one of the, That's a plains. I got one of the full portrait lands. That's a plane? What's yeah, that? look at the mana symbol that's on it. Uh, oh. Oh, it is. <laughs> Looking at it like it's obvious right under the country. I'm like, where's the mana symbol? Bing, bing. bing. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's, it's in a weird place. It's... <laughs> It's in front of your face, but you also can't see it. Exactly. Hi. Hello. Two more packs to go. Yay. But hey, I got one of the one of the guys that people want to make commanders with, and he's kind of fun. He would um basically if I didn't make Edgar Markov first, I probably would make this guy first, because he actually looks like he's fun. Let's just double up on attack triggers and get really irresponsible value out of things. So yes, you got ninjas, you got foxes, you got enchantments, you got a bunch of stuff everywhere, and katanas, because <laughs> even in a world full of robots, you still gotta have your swords. Gotta have robots. And angry artifact equipment creature monkeys. That throw pebbles at people. And is apparently a shoulder pat. Yes. <gasps> oh, I thought that was something else. God, I love the special frames they do for these.
Ooh. March of Reckless Joy. Oh, well, this is what a samurai token looks like, apparently. Good God. Mm. March of Reckless Joy. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may exile any number of red cards. Exile the top X cards of your library. You may play up to two of those cards until your next turn. My God, that's terrible. <laughs> If I'm going to do anything that irresponsible in Commander, I'd rather just play Jessica's Will. Oh. Or, you know, the tried and true Underworld Breach, because I'm a terrible person. Yes. You're not terrible, you just like to make things difficult. Yep, for myself or other people at the table. It depends what deck is being played today. <laughs> also depends on my mood. Did I wake up and choose violence today? The answer is yes. 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 Th Thundersteel Colossus. This is a weird one. So it's a 7 mana 7-7, seven, seven, but it's not actually a creature until something with 2 power decides to crew it. Excuse me? Yeah, vehicles are weird. Vehicles are technically not creatures until they are crewed. Until then, they are just artifacts that sit there and kind of do nothing. He's kind of funny, though. What the hell is this? Freaking Gundam? Yes, actually. That that's what a lot of these are. They they are they are welcome to the world of mechs. Freaking uh, get, yes, get in the robot Shinji. We've all been we've all heard that one. Focus. Get the robot Shinji. Yeah, it's a reference I didn't want to make again. Congratulations. Hey, <laughs> 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 That's a frog. Hello. Oh, we got the moon folk back. Moon folk were actually always cool. On <laughs> the moon. So we get moon. Ah, uh, <laughs> kind of. Oh, this is the thing that makes treasure tokens. This is the thing that's got value attached to it. So I am thirty kinds of excited for that Figma I just pre-ordered. The uh I can't believe I actually this is that's the first one I ever did a max pre order on too. Cause hmm. two people wanted one. Oh yes, that one. Yes I did. Yes, Lady Maria and the Oh hi there. That's a That looks like death. Oh Design. that's cool. That's a cool mountain. What's what's my token? Durkins. That's an awesome token. So the rare I got out of the last pack, Invoke Despair, one colorless, four black pips. That is Ella expensive. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Then repeat this process for an enchantment and a planeswalker. Uh, I would rather play... Uh, what is it? Damnation for five mana. Instead of Invoke Despair. Like. Th getting rid of three things for five. Like, like, you're only playing this in mono black. And even then. You you can. There's only one colorless pip to, pl to pay for it, too. So that really sucks. So if you're running lots of heavy rocks, like. Crypt and Vault. You can't use those to pay for it either. You have to dedicate lands to this. That's kind of gross. Mm. Like, that's not... And it's not the fun kind of gross either. It's like, I I wanted to see more gas in these packs. He's but oh well. Midnight. It's 1230. 1230 for a give See, you're barely staying with us. Well, I mean, I did have a touch of food poisoning last night that kept me up all night, didn't sleep, and then I was sick this morning, but I still had to work, so I was literally munching on, like, a half, I literally ate half of a sleeve of saltine crackers with a cup of Sprite. So, no, I, so yes, I'm extremely exhausted. Well, then I leave this to you. 
Do we want to delve a little further into the second set of boosters, or do we want to save that for a second video? Oh, you wanted to do two, didn't you? And my camera just figured it out. Stop that. That's true. Good. I don't know why it does that. Then we will save this for tomorrow night. You want to do it tomorrow night, Pinky? Yes, Brain. <sighs> but Pinky, you have work tomorrow until about 11. That's fine. We're making this video in the dead of night anyway. <laughs> Pinky, I could be probably monster hunting. Probably doesn't mean definitely. Oh my god, Pinky. <laughs> What's up to you, Pinky? I could technically deal with it. I can technically deal with it. I was like, let's do my bed longingly. Just like uh, I, I, I will, I will not keep you in in your love for your bed apart any longer. My, the love for my bed is almost as big as the love that I have for you. Yeah, there we go. There's, <laughs> there's the cheese. Just awful squeaky cheese. Good job. I mean, I can't exactly quote the uh, bridge series from the Helsing. No, <laughs> no, 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 we can't. I, I love that one so much. It's so bad. <laughs> that is what I call it. So wonderful and so bad. I love oh, well. that series so much. I don't know what it is. I could just immediately rewatch that over and over and it never gets old. <laughs> so funny well that this first this first set of boxes comes to a close we will begin part two tomorrow yes because i like most americans uh, have a responsible bedtime ugh, no my bedtime's already fucked after that nap that i took after work i was only trying to sleep for like two hours roughly three hours but i slept way longer than i wanted to and i got mad I had an alarm set, it went off, I turned off my alarm, laid there for a minute to try to, you know, wake up. That didn't exactly work. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, well. No. Okay, so. See everyone later, and uh, thankfully for a slightly shorter video. Bye! Stay safe.